It was in the two coach, Mike McConaughey coach, a 91-62 win over champion Christian tonight. Uh, the defense did get it going there in the second half, and you created offense out of your defense. Just some of the, the thoughts from tonight. I just think it was one of those things that yesterday in practice, we spent the entire practice going over trying to clean up things offensively that we didn't do well, because I really thought we played great defense at Tulsa. Therefore, so we don't spend any time on our defense, we spent time on our offense and end out of bounds plays and stuff like that. And we ended up not being very effective. It wasn't until a 10 minute mark that we got up in the pass lanes that we were supposed to do. Now I did think Kendall Coleman uh, was able to get three uh, steals because he was a little bit on top, but you know, it's just something that, you know, we're, we've got to understand we got to do a lot better. And um, it was good for, to be able to get everybody in the game. And that's important, especially at this stage of the game because you don't know uh, if you'll be able to do that often. But I mean, I thought Cooper Smith came in and played well. I thought that um, um, Stavros played well. I thought he did some things. He didn't make his free throws, but he was active. He got a, couple, got a rebound down here and got a rebound, offensive rebound, put it back in. And, um, you know, the sky's the limit for him. He's a freshman and, um, you know, really kind of, even though he was here last January, he really didn't play any, but he's made tremendous improvement. One of the most improved players I've ever seen in a six to eight month period. And so he's going to be a good one for us. And I was glad that Robert uh, Ugas could get that steal and go in and get one in. And then he got another bucket going to the bucket, trying to build his confidence. Another thing, I thought Jovan Zelenbaba kind of relaxed a little bit tonight and uh, did some things. He rebounded well. He got was active with the ball and did some really good things. So that's that, that was really, really encouraging. All 13 guys played and all 13 guys scored. It, it felt like this team shared the ball pretty well tonight. Yeah, sometimes, honestly, we were too, it was like we were thinking too much instead of just playing. And they really were trying to get the ball into Larry and them. But what happened is they started uh, doubling them up. And so if they're doubled up, you don't want to throw it in there. You want to swing it around to the open guy on the back side. And that's something that we'll have to work on. You head to SMU on Monday. It's your fourth game in, the, in seven days to start this season. Um, positives and negatives of of that many games in, in this span of time, but when you're mixing in a lot of new guys, you get a lot of floor time. This the only negative about it is practice time. It's practice time at this stage of the game to clean up what you didn't do well, and you don't have a hot opportunity to do that. That's the only negative. The positive thing is they'd a lot rather play than practice. Yeah. But uh, we're at the stage where we really need to practice. Oklahoma and Tulsa uh, have a, a reputation of being disciplined. SMU also um, has that reputation as well. Is it, Similar preparation, similar styles there? SMU is a, and Tulsa and Oklahoma are really a lot alike because they just really run their stuff, execute. I mean, I love watching them play, um, you know, except when I'm playing them <laughs> but, or my team's playing them. But uh, they just do such a good job with what they do, and they get great uh, ball movement and flow, and that really makes such a difference. So we're going to have to figure out a way that we can – can match intensity like we did at Tulsa, or for three minute spell or spell tonight, and uh, but sometimes the great as as I think that Nick Saban said something about I'm not worried about what the other teams worried about I'm worried about what we're doing because we're the ones and like I told him at halftime the thing that frustrates me the most is we had people after we competed well come in here tonight and we really didn't play very well we didn't have any there was nothing commanding about what we did and so instead of people walking out of here feeling really good about the demons they might walk out here and say well you know I don't know how good they're going to be and you know I kind of got on to the guys about that that you know you had a, you have an opportunity to seize it seize the moment coach mike thank you so much